Got a Miami legend in the building. Big Lip. Yes, sir. The Big Lip Bandit in what's here. What's up? Yo. You know what's so crazy? I don't even use Bandit no more, but I can't really? get rid of it. But everybody keeps calling me Bandit, so it's just Big Lip. It's just... Bro, for the people that don't... For the people that grew yeah. up in South Florida, you know Big Lip um, from the radio. You know, you did... Uh, n- EDR, you did 99 Jams yeah. in the morning. You did Power in the morning. And you, yeah, let's hold the style. And you was my producer. Yeah, yeah. yeah there yeah, was a yeah, time yeah, we were yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I don't know. I would say like your prime was, I think your prime was like during the, the Jams era. Like yeah. that was when you were like in your Jordan years. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like I, your Chicago Bull years. You know, you know what's so crazy? You said it like, like when I was on Jams, I was on Jams from 2000 to uh, 2008. And... Mm-hmm. And then at that point, like, you know, I kind of, I went to power and everything. But you know what? I'm having more fun now doing afternoons, doing old school hip hop and R&B on High 105 oh, yeah. than, than, I, than I was having then. You understand what in I'm the, saying? Really? The, oh, the, my God. In the mornings for now. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, having, I'm having more fun now because I could appreciate it more because I got less other stuff going on in my life. See, even though back then it was crazy, the radio was crazy, you know, Khaled, you know, the whole, the whole that whole little yeah. movement in the early 2000s was freaking crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and, and I was young. But now I'm in a and I'm in a state of mind where I can actually enjoy it because I'm grown now. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I guess was, we were living life too living life too fast to really yeah, appreciate man. it. Yeah, like back then I couldn't really appreciate it. I appreciate it when I go back and look at pictures. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like like I, it feels like a blur to you. Kind yeah, of. it feels like a big blur, probably because I was high half the time, but yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> but it was all a freaking blur back then. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn, yeah, that's so, crazy. I mean, that's just how it went down. But you've, bro, you've survived the market. Like you're always working, dog. The, I'm like, all, like you are. Like a lot of people, you know, this radio business is 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 crazy, man. A lot yeah. of people lose their job like that from one I day to the next, right? But what I'm saying is, it feels like some people lose their job and they just fall off. Mm-hmm. It feels like you, you've always had a, like another play lined up or like another mm-hmm. station. Like you went from jams right to power, mm-hmm. then to hot at caught. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're always, you always find somewhere to fit in. Well, you know? you know what that comes from? That comes because I'm a winner, dog. And a lot of people don't understand this, but when I left, see people think that I won because I just left jams and I went straight to power. See, I lost my job at, at jams. They fired me in 2008. I didn't get the power to 2010. So I had a two year grace period. I went from literally making a million dollars being a millionaire to being on food stamps. Between that, was time. that the yo? What was like the radio bag back then? Like in the 90s, like, like oh early, my- like early 2000s morning show bag. Like how much were they making? Where how much was the station? All right. Well, listen, the station was making like with the, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real with yeah. you. This is, this is no lie. Yeah. Back in 2002. I was making, by the time my endorsements and everything, I was making over 200 grand a year. So I'm 26 huh. years old, making yeah. over 200 grand a year, but that's not the half of it. Crazy. That's not the half you of it. You were 26 when you first started the morning show? Yeah, I was, Um, well, when I got to jams, I was, when I got to jams, I was 25. And then when I started doing the morning show, I was 28. So I started, wow. so I headed up the morning show at 28. So, but even at that time, the street money was different. You wasn't walking out your house without 500 to $1,000. And clubs was giving you door deals where they were giving you a percentage of the freaking club. Yeah. So sometimes on a weekend, I don't make anywhere between 15 to 20 grand. Yeah. It was stupid. That's crazy. The money it was, was crazy back it was, then, it was bro. Dope. It was dope money. Like right now, I feel like I need to strip. Like it's not yeah. even the same. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? A lot of OGs that, whether it's DJs or radio people, like a lot of the people that made that those bags back then, yeah. they're like... Like bitter now because the market is different. The rate, the the money yeah. is. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's so not, I get it. You, it's like you're taking a big pay cut. It's hard to like be not bitter. You know? Yeah, what I mean? because 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 the game has changed. You got to realize right. something. Like social media destroyed. Like it destroyed right. your income potential with radio. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what happens is like right now. Because back in the day, they knew cats knew that in order to get people in your club. Yeah, you yeah, had to go yeah. to radio. If you were doing a hip hop or art, right. anything hip hop, you had to go to radio. I could relate it to the DJs too, though, in the club, because back then the club money was crazy. Now DJs get paid substantially less in the club. Mm-hmm. So the, these old DJs don't want to work in the club anymore. Absolutely because, no. But, but they hold like a bitterness to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, like, I don't like, do, believe it or not, I don't do a whole lot of clubs because I'm just going to keep it real. Like I still DJ ch- Chops. I started off DJing. I was on a show tour with Biggie, Eric Sermon, uh, so back, back in the early yeah, bro, 90s. You, that I'm a, I'm an OG. Like I've been around forever and I don't even like I work for a bunch of different agencies when I go do events. Like I was like DJing a love in the nineties tour. I can't do clubs because cats have has totally fucked up the game with club DJs because you got dudes who go get a laptop and you know what I'm saying and and, and Serato and then they'll go DJ for $150 in a bottle so they could be around a whole bunch yeah. of chicks. And it cuts out the, the most creative and best DJs there are out there. That's a fact. 
So I don't, so, so I don't even, I don't feel like the rat race. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I've gone, I've gone to more corporate level when it comes to me spinning. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to me being in a club. And right now, um, you are um at Hot 105, mm -hmm. which is fire. That the music, that music is fire. Like that's like 90s R and B that it feels it good is. now, bro. You know what's so crazy about 90s R and B and hip hop? See, when like you are about about 18, 20 years younger than me, Chops. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is that when I was your age, 70s, we didn't have 70s day parties. Yeah. We didn't have none yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. Like there was something that's cool about the 90s. Like me and my son is 16 years apart. He was born in 92. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But and it's funny because him and his whole crew and everybody else that he hangs with, they all party the 90s hip hop and RB. Cause that was the genre that like literally everybody could appreciate. Yeah. Yeah, timeless music, It's, it's bro. different. It's and different. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to hang out at no damn 70s party yeah. when I was in my 30s. Like, yeah. no way, I'd rather eat glass. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> what happened is music got cheapened with streaming and all that yeah, shit. No so, doubt. like, 90s music still has, like, value. Mm -hmm. It has replay value. This new no, music is cool for, like, a week. And it's like a meme. Yeah, Cool yeah. for a week. You laugh at it for a yeah, week, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, and then you're, what's next? It, like, you keep it moving. Microwave shit, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, absolutely. But, so, you're doing radio, but you just opened a new restaurant, um, a vegan restaurant. Thank yeah. you for bringing the food. Um, mm -hmm. I just tried a, a Philly cheesesteak that yeah. is... You told me it wasn't made out of bugs. Wasn't made out of. I'm no, not, no, I'm no, not no, a no, vegan. Not, like we, listen, we, we might no, have yo, beef. Yo, yo, I'm an anti vegan, yo, low key. Yeah, yo, listen, you may be an anti vegan, but can I tell you something? 50% of my customers are anti vegan because the thing is that, like, I grew up in Philly, born and raised. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on cheesesteak, cheeseburgers, chicken wings, all the fucking hood shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I had to stop eating meat for health reasons because I kept getting sick. Like, when I was, when I was like, like my late. My late twenties, early thirties, I just kept getting sick, like gastrointestinal problems, and really? I just like, yo, man, I just got to do something. So I cut out meat. All You've my been problems. vegan for that long? No, I I went completely vegan. I stopped completely eating meat at a, in about two. I can't. I don't know the year. I was about thirty five. Yeah, but I haven't. I haven't eaten meat probably over a decade. Yeah.